Okay, let's talk more about the facial rig in Maya. Some rig just use these uh, facial panel things and they assemble their uh, facial controls all in the facial panels. And for other rig, uh, this is the killer rig and uh, the rig by Josh. And it doesn't have any uh, facial panels. Instead, it places all the facial controls right on the face. It uses the on-face controls. Uh, so basically, there are just two type of uh, these facial controls. One is within that uh, facial panel. It's kind of like 2D, and it's pretty easy to put it into the uh, picker. I have demonst demonstrated that. And another one is uh, this 3D controls. So how to put this? Uh, 3D controls into the uh, 2D pickers. You may wondering uh, how can you do that? Okay, so let's check out how to create these uh, on-face controls into sliders within this facial picker panel. Before talking about that, I will just show you the already made facial picker panel for Killer Rig. I've done that before, and it looks like uh, the Buttons here in this face are just select buttons for selecting, but actually some of them are slider handles. So uh, they are sliders without any background frame. So what I grab now is just slider handles. So slider handle is just a select button, but you can move it in 3D view and move it in this picker UI. Uh, and also I've built up some mirror relationships. So say for this mouth corner, you can just grab one slider handle and hold the Alt key and move the uh, mouth corner in a mirrored way. So this is pretty handy and these are sliders. But not all of them are sliders. Say these are just select buttons. So how do, how do you tell uh, it's a slider handle and it's a select button? For a select button, if you grab it, it just go to the white since the nodes are selected. But uh, for the slider handle, it will turn to white as well since they are essentially uh, select buttons. But check out this uh, green outline uh, that indicates you that it's a slider handle. So any time you see that if you grab some button and they have the green outline, that means it's slider handle. You can just middle mouse button to manipulate the controls in 3D view and you can also move them in this picker UI. For now you may be wondering what happened to these 3D controls. Since uh, I pick this cheek control for example, it has three axes. So to fully control the cheek, you have to control these three attributes. But what we got here is just 2D sliders. So the sliders can just control two attributes for maximum, right? Um, so what happened to the third attribute? The answer is simple. Uh, for a slider, yes, indeed, you just control two attribute. So uh, you gotta choose that uh, what two attribute you have uh, you use most to control by this slider. So you just pick maybe translate X and translate Y axis to control by the slider directly. But um, if you want to trick the third axis since the slider handle are just um, select button so it will select the control for you so with the control being selected you can just simply switch to the um, translate tool to trick the third attribute right so um, you trick the two attributes via this slider and trick the third attributes using other tools okay let's see how to create these controls into the sliders uh, I've already created a picker file here and uh, with the body panel and facial panel um, the first thing you need to do is snapshot the this face into this facial panel so uh, that will be very uh, helpful because for this facial panel animator could just grab this slider handles very intuitively because uh, animator knows what does this control stands for. It's sitting right in the eyebrow so it should be the eyebrow controls. Okay, uh, so the first thing we need to do is just snapshot the background images. To create this background image, you just go to the triangle menu and select prepare snapshot. 
and uh, in this 3D view, you just make sure that lip curves are turned off. Just any animal that should not be appeared in the image, you just turn it off. And we are happy with this, and we're just ready to grab the image. Snapshot. Okay. Uh, so the snapshot is, is ready made. And um, by default, it's it's uh, using the default style and this contrast is pretty distracting uh, if you just grab the original image. So I, I really advise you to go to the dimmed uh, style and reset shot again. And all right, you will be dimmed. This way, uh, it won't be it won't be too distracting uh, if you put the sliders upon it, right? So we are done with this image. So we just turn off the 3D view, and the image can be tweaked further if you go to the edit snapshot. So this will open up this this image processing dialog. You can just turn off the contrast further and turn down the saturations. Okay. So apply image edit and close. So this way, uh, the image is less distracting. So we are ready to create some um, sliders. First, we save this picker file. Okay. So now we are going to uh, create the sliders for eyebrows. So first thing you need to do is just um, prepare 3D view again, and you don't want to tweak this camera anymore because uh, we have to create the slider based on these 3D views. It should be the same uh, angle and same air, uh, framing with this uh, background image, right? Um, first, we need to grab the eyebrow controls and then uh, go to the edit tool. We go to the triangle menu at sliders via 3D view. Uh, so there's some messy sliders uh, being created in the picker panel. Don't panic. We just turn off the uh, 3D view, and uh, there's nothing in the attribute editor. We just uh, hold Shift key and click on one of the background frame and click it again. So this way, uh, it shows the attributes. We just go to the frame visible. Uh, we turn off this. Uh, Attribute. So this way, we turn off all the background frames for these sliders. So we can only see the slider handles in this uh, picker panel. So you can just use all key to click on these slider handles to evolve them. So to check out what does this slider handle controls. So you can see that this is the for the eyebrow, the head of the eyebrow. So we just move it move it to roughly position them. Okay, so right now we got these sliders being lined up, but their size are still need to be tweaked. So uh, that's what I mean. It will cost you a little bit more time, but totally worth it. So you, you have to check out uh, the controls. Say this one, we switch to the preview tool grab these control sliders and move it. Uh, it has the uh, two axes means this slider is a um, 2D slider. So we just uh, use hockey T to scale it down. Use all key to uh, transform it uh, via this center. Okay. So we just roughly uh, resize it and press the enter key to confirm that. And for this, we just our key, uh, hold our key to uh, to select the notes. This is a this is a one D um, slider. So if I say just uh, double click this uh, slider handle, it will show you the boundary of this slider. It also, uh, it has done a good job for you, but it's just a little bit. Uh, too much in the height. Okay, we just scale it down and okay, and we just continue to this. And this is a this is also a one D uh, attribute. So we just double click this and just scale down the height. Okay, and it's a control that rules all the eyebrow. Means uh, when I move this control, in the whole eyebrow moves. So you want to 
uh, show this to the user, you just move it to this. Okay, and just roughly move this as well. And to test out this, it's a uh, 2D slider. So what you what you need to do is just double click this slider handle and translate and transform it down a little bit to uh, to the range that being desired. Okay, so we continue to test. We hold all key to click this slider handle, and it's also a 2D controls. It's, it's all, we, we also need a 2D um, slider, so we double click it and just scale it down a little bit here. So we are done with the half side of it, so for now we just we can just assign this middle relationship right after we create these sliders, but it's not too late we, if we assign it now. So we just assign it, assign it, assign it, assign it. So with this um, middle relationship assigned, now we can just move them a little bit, but with the all hockey. So that way, it will resize the mirrored sliders with the same size. So uh, while there's different partitions, uh, this control and this control doesn't seem to mirrored. So the reason for this is go to the preview tool and test it out. So uh, when I drag this slider handle to the left direction and the eyebrow actually go to the opposite way. So as we mentioned before, this is okay and this also opposite and this also opposite. So for this and this and this sliders, we have to reverse the horizontal axis, right? So we just input the minus one. So uh, with this being done, we just grab this uh, eyeball controls and double click the uh, background area, it will reset the values. So if we go to the default values, all these sliders just line up correctly. If you find that the mirror handle doesn't appear mirrored, you just tweak this speed attribute, right? Uh, maybe reverse it, um, that will address the issue. Now we pretty much finished the uh, sliders for this eyebrow. So the next thing you need to do is maybe tweak these colors and switch the shape to the rectangles. Just anything that make your slider handle more like the original control. So animator can grab this slider handle more intuitively. Okay, um, for these arrows, we just start these handles and make like a uh, diamond. Okay, uh, we can just scale up the uh, height of it. And we do the same to these uh, overall controls for the eyebrows. We switch to diamond and we just scale up the height as well. Also, we need to tweak this uh, to yellow colors. And for this, we just use the dark purple colors. Okay, so here. And we continue to tweak all this, uh, maybe these two rectangle shapes and dark red colors. In order to copy this red to this, uh, slider handle, we just switch to the copy paste property tool, which has a hockey eye. And we just right click on this slider handle and copy all color and just and just left mouse button click it. Click it and you copy the colors. And for the last one here, we, uh, we can mimic with the uh, diamond. So we can just use the same copy tool and right click on this copy color and stroke paste and then right click again copy shapes and then click this. So there's a lot of properties can be copied. You just check out these menus. So for this maybe we can just scale up the height as well. 
Okay, so we are pretty much done with this eyebrows. And uh, another thing I want to do is to create these um, parent links. And we switch to animation mode. We test out these eyebrow controls. So we can just double click the uh, eyebrows to select all the controls. I can grab this and um, bit of mouse drag to control it and just you can hold all key to control the two eyebrows mirrorly and you can just double click this invisible background frame area to reset it so you can just grab it and double click to reset all these slider handles so the process for creating the sliders for other part of these facial controls are just the same uh, basically you just create the uh, sliders based on 3D view, you grab these controls and create the sliders and build up the mirror relation shape and then um, tweak the size, the shapes, the colors and tweak the axes and then you connect them together with uh, parent links and you are done with it. You just test it and see anything goes wrong. But uh, for now there's something else that I want to mention is um, first we switch to the designer mode and because right now we are dealing with some sliders without any background frame so if you grab this empty area you will select the slider but if you just click by a lot of time you can't just select them so if you just click on the slider handle it will select the slider handle only you have no access to the slider attribute itself right you are tweaking the slider handle attributes so to select the slider itself you got to double click on this slider handle so this way you can just tweak this speed and tweak these attributes okay um, if you want to move the slider you just move these handles the whole slider will move as well and if you want to transform them you just select the slide handle and just transform them it will transform the sliders for you instead um, if you want to label them say you want to label this eyebrow if you double click the one way is uh, with the slider being selected you input the label here another way is hold the all key and double click on this slider handles and this way you will pop up the uh, input field in the in this picker view and you can input this say eyebrow if you are not happy with this label position you just go to the attribute editor uh, switch the label position to top and then you just trick the uh, top marking parameters to make it more close to the facial sliders so I uh, maybe you can just uh, make the color black okay so uh, a slider can also attach a label even if uh, it has no background frames I won't cover the overall process for the whole facial controls since they are kind of like the same so uh, I will just demonstrate uh, for these eyebrows and you can, you can continue this process to cover all the con facial controls um, it will cost you more time comparing to facial panels but as I said before it's totally worth it animator could just turn off all the curves and use your facial panel to control the facial expressions that's really handy so uh, I really recommend you to do that another thing I want to mention is when you create the sliders based on 3d view and the, if the control has a transform range say uh, you have a translate range within uh, maybe a little bit area and you will create the sliders with background frames but uh, if the control itself has no range means you can move it without any range move to pretty far and in that kind of situation uh, when the control be created into a slider based on a 3d view it will create a slider without any background frames that's just a uh, tips for you